Hello there. This is part two of Zoho Flow's logic video series in which we will show you how to create custom functions in Zoho Flow. We'll be seeing what custom functions are, how to use them in Zoho Flow, and finally, some good examples of how they can make your workflow smarter and more detailed. We will also briefly show you how the send email action works through one of the use cases. For example, say you generate new leads every day and you want to set up a workflow to send them welcome emails automatically. This is a simple task that we all will like to automate. And for this, we can use one of the already available actions like send email in Zoho Mail, Gmail, or the notification section under the logic tab. But now if we need to send this email in the native language of the recipient, then that's some extra piece of tailoring we need to do, which is where we need to use custom function. So let's go straight to Zoho flow and see how a custom function can smarten up the basic flow. Here is the flow we are going to build on. As of now, whenever a new lead is added in Zoho CRM, the flow sends a welcome email using Zoho mail. We can also use the send email action from the logic tab, which will help us send emails from any domain. Let's drag and drop send email here, provide the from address to address, we'll map here, and the content of the email, which will be in English. Let's click done here. Now we are going to add a piece of delete script that automatically translates the subject of this email to a language that the recipient prefers. For that, let's go to the custom function section and click custom function. We'll give the function a name. Let's call it translate email, a suitable return type, in this case string, because the output of the function is going to be the subject of the email and click create. The interface we see now is where we will have to type out the delete script. As we already have the function ready, let's paste it here. So what this function does is, it takes three inputs. The input language, which is English in this case, the text to be translated, and the output language, which we will map from the lead record. Here, we first construct the API to be called using this URL. We then give the parameters for the API here, the access key, the input text that needs to be translated, and the input and output languages in the format that the API expects. After that, we call this API. And finally, the response we get from the API is the translated text that needs to be the subject and the message of the email. And with that, the function is complete. So let's save it. Now we'll find this function sitting like any other action under this custom function section. So let's delete the wire between the trigger and the action and include this function in the flow. Let's drag and drop it here. Now we see a configuration window open. Here is where we need to provide the three inputs that the function needs. We will give the input text, the output language from the trigger, and we will map the input language as en. We have configured the custom function for the subject. We will now reuse the same function to translate the body of the email to. So let's drag and drop it here and give the input text and then the output language and source language as en. Now let's connect these two functions to the send email action and edit this step to map the outputs of the custom functions to the subject and the message fields. So let's map the subject here and the message of the email using the second custom function and click done. Now we're ready with this flow. Let's save it and switch it on. From here on, each time a new lead is added in Zoho CRM, the flow will automatically pick the language of the recipient, translate the content of the email, and then send a more personalized email to the lead. Let's test it out right away. We'll go to Zoho CRM and add a new lead record. We'll give the first name as Tom, the last name as Lee, the company name, the email ID, and the language for now. So that will be French here. Let's save this record and we'll go to Tom's inbox to see if he has received the email now. And there it is, the email that speaks to Tom in his language. This is one example of how custom functions can make your business workflows smarter. Similarly, you can use custom functions across various scenarios. For example, in this flow, we use the function to analyze the sentiment of each help test ticket, and we then automatically escalate the ones that are negative. Likewise, this flow uses a custom function to convert multi-currency payments for deals to USD, and then records the converted amounts in CRM. As you see, custom functions open up possibilities for much deeper automations. So go ahead and try your own Deluge script in Zoho Flow. You can refer to dre.zoho.com slash help to learn more about Deluge. And for any other questions, ideas related to automation and workflows, you can always write to support at zohoflow.com. Thanks for watching.